Hey folks, Russell here. Uh, welcome back to the shop. Um, if you've watched uh, some of my previous videos, we've been building this uh, 4.6 liter uh, Jeep Stroker to install in my CJ7 restoration. Um, so today's video is 4.6 uh, Stroker episode 10. We're going to install the cylinder head. In a previous episode, um, episode 9, we installed the uh, oil pump, um, oil pan, and our dipstick tube. Um, so today all we're going to do is install the, uh, the lifters and the cylinder head, um, and that's it. Try to keep the video a little bit on the shorter side for this episode. Um, one of the things I have to be concerned with, or not concerned, but one of the choices I have, I've got two different head gaskets I could use um, because I happen to have two. Uh, one of these is a Victor Rhines gasket. Um, and the other is a Felpro. Um, and so just looking at the two gaskets, let's compare them, and, I, and I'll explain why I'm going to choose the one I choose. If you look at the, the fire ring in the Felpro gasket and compare it to the size of the fire ring in the Victor Rhines, I'm going to use the Victor Rhines gasket. So I'm going to get this gasket opened up, and uh, we'll get started putting the cylinder head on. Now the first thing we got to do before we put the head gasket down, I want to inspect my bores and make sure I've got no trash in here that could damage my rings the first time we fire this up. So they're wiped out good. And then the second thing we got to do is I've got to put my lifters in. Um, on the Jeep inline six, you cannot remove and replace the hydraulic lifters with the cylinder head installed. You have to have it off. So I got to put new ones in. And as you know from my previous videos, when I'm doing an engine where it's going to sit for a while. Before I start it, I typically use a product called Lubriplate as a lubricant. But for my lifters, because they're going so far down in and I want to get some lube right on the cam, the nose of the cam, I'm going to use uh, Permatex Ultra Slick. And so what I'm going to do is just drizzle some down right onto the camshaft. And then for each one, I'm going to goop them up really good, and we'll place them in with a magnet.
And honestly, anytime if you're working on Jeep inline sixes, anytime you've got the cylinder head off, it's a good idea to replace your lifters. Um, cheap insurance. Um, since you have to have the head off to do it, if you had to do something like a head gasket for a bad head gasket or something on one, and then you turn around and put the motor back together and you got a ticking lifter and that head's got to come right back off to do another and another gasket just to do replacement lifters. So. And these lifters came with my Mopar camshaft. So I don't know who exactly made them, but they came with the cam. It's an older cam, new old stock cam. So chances are these lifters were made in the US. And I've never heard bad things about Mopar factory lifters so we shall see all right all the lifters are in and seated rid of my goop because I don't need it anymore And I'm going to wipe down the block surface with a little brake cleaner to make sure there's no lube on here before we lay that gasket down. Um, I know some people use a copper spray on head gaskets, and uh, I'll be the first to admit I've done that um, on some Audis with aluminum heads and aluminum blocks. I've never done it on a cast iron block. I've never felt the need to. So we're just going to lay the gasket down dry. Let me go grab the head. And just to show you all the head. And we had this head gone through by our machine shop. So it is a nice, clean, fresh surface. That's it, head's installed, ha ha, funny, funny. All right, heads on. All right, we've got the head on. Now I've got to get my uh, my head bolts, and I'm using um, ARP fasteners for this, uh, not the stud kit, just the bolts. Now I'm not going to show this procedure for all the bolts, just for time constraints. But ARP fasteners come with this lube, 
and for the head bolts you put some under the head of the bolt on the other side of the washer and for all of the bolts with the exception of the one that goes into the water jacket you put some on the thread uh, when I get to the one in the water jacket I'll show what we do with it so like I said I'm not going to show this whole procedure in full um, I'm going to cut out here real quick and when we come back I'll have all the bolts installed except for this one alright I told y'all this bolt up here it actually goes into a water jacket um, and it so you don't put any lubricant on the threads on it um, a lot of repair manuals state to put RTV on this uh, but the stuff you should actually be using is a thread sealant um, and this is Permatex item 8063-2 um, it's a thread sealant with PTFE so I'm going to put a little sealant on here we'll put this last bolt in We'll run them all in and start the torque procedure. And that stuff's got, it's got a brush applicator, so you just brush it on to the threads. like so and then it goes in easy peasy Alright, so the torque procedure for these bolts is to torque all the bolts and I'll show the I'm going to show you the picture and read the procedure off. Alright. So as you can see the picture right here. That's the torque sequence. And this is be the front of the head, so that's that way. That's the front. The sequence is to torque, torque them out of 22 foot pounds, then to torque them out of 45 foot pounds. And then to torque all but this one to 110 foot pounds. This one goes to 100. So 22. 45, recheck at 45, and then take them all to 110 except for this this one that goes into the water jacket, and that goes to 100. That's the factory spec. According to ARP for these fasteners, they all go to 100, so we're going to stop at 100. So we'll do 22, 45, 100.
And that's it, cylinder head's installed. We've run through the torque procedure. Um, tomorrow morning when I come back, I'll double check them all at 100 just to be sure. But right now I'm gonna grab the valve cover to just cover it for now, and we'll talk for a second. Alright, we've got the valve cover on, um, and it's just sitting here uh, to keep any dust and dirt and stuff from getting into the, uh, the engine. Uh, quick overview, today's episode, all we did was install the cylinder head. Um, we, of course, we put in our uh, valve lifters prior to putting the head on because with a Jeep 4.0, you have to put the lifters in prior to putting the head on because they won't fit through the head. So. Lifters are in, heads on, it's torqued down with the ARP fasteners. I'll put a link at the bottom for the fasteners that I used. And, uh, and then we just laid the valve cover on it. Um, next episode, we're going to finish up the valve train. So that's uh, push rods and rockers. Um, I got a treat for y'all with the rockers. And, uh, and then it's you know water pump thermostat and then we put this, put the, get this thing installed. Hoping to have it installed within the next couple of days. We'll shoot a video of that as well. So. Uh, if you like this content, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon for future notifications, and as always, there's more to follow.